I've got a really interesting, I believe, interesting lesson here. And a lot of times these lessons never get taught to non-native speakers because they're the stuff that we all learn when we're kids. And, you know, when we're in math class, whatever. And then these words get thrown around later. But for some reason, teachers in ESL teaching English, they, they don't teach these words. But I really want to teach them because they're super useful. And they're used not only just to describe mathematical stuff, or else I wouldn't teach them. They are used to describe actual things when we're speaking. You're going to hear these words in real life. So the first one, probably the most uh, common and important one, a radius. If you ever hear what a radius is. So if you have a circle, these all revolve around a circle, all of these words. Radius is the most common one. It is the center of the circle, I've already drawn it here, to the any distance on the other side. So that is the radius of the circle, this distance. So let's say it's, I don't know, like five centimeters. So this, this circle has a radius, I'm just guessing, it's actually longer, but of five centimeters. Okay, so the distance, how long, between the center of the circle and anywhere touching the circle is the radius. So, for example, if I say, oh, policemen are searching for that person within a two-kilometer radius, that means that from right in one spot, okay, the police are right here, let's say this is two kilometers, and some people say kilometers, kilometers, same thing. They're going to look in, uh, I'm messing up my circles here, but you know, you can imagine they're anywhere two kilometers from the center all the way around. That's what a two kilometer radius is. So if you hear that sentence, police are looking for someone in a two kilometer radius or, you know, like there was some bomb that went off, some like some explosion, it hurt people in a, I don't know, 50 meter radius, whatever. It's just from that center spot to the outside of that much, that's what they're talking about. So anytime you hear a radius, that's what they're talking about. Diameter, you're going to hear it less often in spoken English, you hear radius all the time. But diameter is, sometimes you're going to hear it, and it's useful to at least know what it is when you hear it. This is just double the radius. It's just the distance across a circle. So a circle with a two kilometer radius, the diameter would be four kilometers. So it's just two radii, not radiuses. So it's just the distance from one end of the circle to the opposite end of the circle is the diameter diameter okay so radius is from the center to the any point on the outside diameter is straight across circumference this is used less in spoken english but if you ever hear it it's necessary to know what it is and if this one's only used for circles actually all these are it's the distance around the entire circle so anytime you need to measure the distance around the entire circle, you're talking about circumference. So if you're going to go back all the way to when you're a little kid in math class, you probably, probably remember, I'm trying to think now, you know, remember that Greek symbol pi, right? So the circumference, if you can remember, is, I believe it's 2 pi r. So... The circumference equals 2 times the radius times pi, which is 3.14 and a whole bunch of numbers. Now, you probably heard this when you, this is called pi. So when you were in, Eng, you know, when you were learning math, whatever language you were learning, we all learn the same stuff. It's, it happens everywhere. But anyway, this is the circumference. So if you understand this equation, at all, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. If you forget, then maybe, you know, it's just the distance around the circle. So that's what that, you know, that's what that means there. Sometimes you need to know it. Now this one, I'm going to talk about it because it's so common in a different lesson because we use this word 
all the time, but I thought it'd be useful in this one because it does have to do with a circle. Uh, I'm not going to tell you when we use it until the next lesson on this, but I'm going to tell you what it means so that it sticks in your mind better. That's the point. A tangent. A tangent. Now, a tangent to a circle is a line. This is a tangent line. It just touches the circle one time and only once. So here's my other circle. This is another tangent line. It just touches in one little spot and doesn't touch again. So this, for example, is not a tangent line because it touches it in two spots. And this is not a tangent line because it touches it in zero spots. So a tangent just touches a circle once and then goes off forever. So that's what a tangent line is. And this word gets used a lot. People talk about going off on a tangent, but I'm going to save it for another lesson because it's so broadly used that we don't have time in this particular one. We've got a lot of good stuff here though. So watch the lesson, make sure you know all this stuff and check out the deeper meanings on learnenglish232.com and come back when I get ready to teach about tangents.